pronounced, defined, used in lexical dispatch. Flagrant, adjective, flagrancy, flagrance, flagrantly, openly bad, offensive or reprehensible. Exhort, verb, exhortation, to try very hard to encourage someone to do something. To urge, to persuade, to incite. The organization is now suing the state in federal court for flagrant violation of federal law and the U.S. Constitution. That was a flagrant violation of a verbal agreement the two had made to keep their shares on an equal footing. The settlements are indeed in flagrant violation of Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention relative to the protection of civilian persons in time of war. That flagrant disregard for truth displays contempt for the citizenry of a republican democracy. The witness's testimony about the flagrant disregard for safety procedures was extremely damaging. I am ready to admit that, even though I have not been guilty of flagrant dishonesty, I have at times been a little careless in my statements. I dab my lip with a towel, ignoring the flagrancy of the scene. The young police officer was not prepared for the publicity, the flagrance of the case. Frankly, you should be ashamed of yourself for using such a flagrantly dishonest, willfully ignorant, fallacious line of reasoning. The flagrantly shameless act of plagiarism verily much abhorred the better ethical senses of the court and violated art's moral rights. Toward the end of his speech, Balmer became animated raising his voice to exhort developers to build new applications for the various Microsoft platforms. You can't just exhort people to become better at keeping their mouths shut and expect that to work. Children, I exhort you to shun her, exclude her, shut her out from this day forth. To power the future, many commentators today exhort us to buy lots of green energy, chiefly solar panels and wind turbines. Better labels are all well and good, but we don't want to exhort people to look at labels for trans fat, he said. They hosted them in order to call on the people to exhort the people to contribute for the victims of the tsunami. Did any executive of a tenant company exhort his employees to stay put after the first plane hit? I had said these words as a rousing exhortation without suspecting how literally they corresponded to reality.